Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to create this bracelet using Kershedmans in the Kershed workbench. Okay, so before we start, you need to make sure you go to the tour and uh, app on manager and in the workbench, you type in here curve and you click on the Kershed workbench and you install the latest version of this workbench. All right, so now we can start. First, I will create um, the basic form of uh, the single component. So I need a frame first. I create a sketch in the top view and I create a slot on this red line, all right? Now you can see we have redundant constraint. So you just click on this number and you, you can see it select uh, the constraint number eight. Click on it and delete it. Now you select this arc and hit D and you set it to 15. All right. Now I want this arc uh, smaller than this arc. To do that, first I need to select this equal constraint and the horizontal constraint and I delete it. Now I can select this arc and I hit D and I set it to 7.5. Okay. Now I create a two points like this. I select uh, this point and then this point and then this line, I hit C to snap it to the red line. And then I select this point and then this arc. I hit C to snap it to the arc. Doing the same in here, this point, this arc, hit C. I select this point, this point, and I hit D and I set it to 70. I select this point, this point and the center line hit S for symmetry constraint. Now I select uh, this uh, blue point and uh, this red line and I hit C to snap it to the red line. All right, now the sketch is fully constrained. I can close that. Next, I want to um, create a copy of this sketch, but uh, instead of using the control C and control V, I will use the clone tool because when I create a clone of this, I can easy using the transform tool to translate and rotate it. And also when I change this sketch, the clone also update. So I select this sketch and I go to the drop workbench. And with this sketch uh, selected, I create a clone. I select the clone and I go to the transform and I type in here 90 degree and rotate it uh, 90 degree in the S axis. And then I grab the green one and rotate it uh, two times like this. Now we have the frame. I click OK and turn off the grid. Uh, I call this one. Um, Poker one and this one Poker two. All right. Next, I will create a two a circle, one circle in this point, very small, and another one in this uh, point. All right, and then I will use the curve shape in the curve shape workbench to generate uh, the surface in between. All right, and then we will have a single solid to create a two circle. I go to the part workbench. And I create a sketch in the right view. But I want my circle in this point, all right? So I need to offset it to 
35. All right. But uh, in this direction, so I will go to negative 35. You can see the red line here is the S axis because I will go to this direction. So I have to put negative. Click OK. And if I create a circle and I close, you can see my sketch is now on in this uh, location. So I need another one exactly the same, but uh, in the other side. So I just simply select the sketch and I go to the mirror. Click on it and I will mirror it in the Y and Z plan. All right. Y and Z plan. And then I click OK. Now we have another circle in here. Now I can change. I drop this one down and I click on my sketch, the sketch 001. Double click on it. And I ch click on it and I hit D and I set it to a very small 0 0.01. OK close now I uh, select the sketch and I rename it star profile and I select the mirror and I rename it and profile okay now I go to the curve shape workbench and the curve shape workbench I first control select the star profile and then the end profile and then I click on the curve shadman. So now you can see we have something in here. But if you click on the curve shadman and you go to the data, we have an option all curves. And then you click on this three dot and then you choose the whole curve one and whole curve two and click OK click off I click on the curve shadman again and you go to the max solid I set it to true all right and to increase the resolution of the surface to match the whole curve the whole curve shape I need to go to the items and increase it to let's say 25 okay or 30. all right but uh, you can see the surface is now not very good it's bad so to fix that we need to select the curve shadman again and we have a new option in here the love max degree let's try three or okay now you can see the shear face is now very small all right now I hit ship B and select everything and I hit spy bar to hide everything and I click on the curve shipman and I show it now I need to create a hole in here I go to the product workbench and I create a new sketch in the top view. I view the wireframe and I create a circle like this. I select the circle and I hit D and I set it to 20. And select this point, hit D, and set it to 20. I close. Now I can view the flat line again. I select the new sketch and I go to it's true. It's true it to 50 and it's symmetric. Okay. I need to create another hole in here. So I select the is true and I go to the mirror. Mirror it in the YZ plan. Okay. And I select the mirror and I go to transform. 
and I type in here 90 degree and rotate it 90 degree in the S axis. Hit OK. Now I will make a compound between these two cylinder. So I select this is true and the mirror and the is true. And I go to the product compound and make compound. And then I control select the curve shipment and the compound and then I cut it. All right. Now we have two holes. Next, I will fill that. I can draw select this edge. This one. Come to the other side. This one. And then this one. And I go to the fillet. Fillet it with two. Okay. All right. Now I go to the top view. And I want to um, move this one up and create a polar pattern. So I go to view, toggle the axis cross to show the arrow. And I select the fillet. And I go to the drop open. And then I create a clone. I select the fillet, the original one. I call this one. Or easy. Yep. Okay. And I hide. I select the clone and I go to transform. And I type in here 120. And move this one up one unit. All right. And then hit OK. With uh, this one selected, I go to modification, orator, and polar ray. And I click on reset point to reset the center of the rotation to the center of the scene. And, and then I click OK. I click on the array and I go to the data. I go down to the number of polar and increase it to, let's see, 10, 15. OK. Something like this. And I select the array and I click on the downgrade to downgrade it uh, to multiple solids. And then I click on upgrade. Now we have a single compound. And I can select the compound and I go to the view and I set the uh, deviation down to 0 0.01. All right, now we just finished modeling the bracelet using the curve shipment. So thanks for watching.